beer is a thing in motion. You look at it and it's a static thing in a glass, but I think of it as an experience that you're going to have. You drink something and it's almost like a story. It does this, it does that, it went like that, it went to the left and it zoomed out this way. And if a story is interesting from start to finish and holds your interest and it has structure and balance, you've got something. I drank beer in college, but I didn't actually like it. That was the thing. These days, you can find great beer. Back then, there simply wasn't any. And then I moved to England. Beer was not just this thin, fizzy, flavorless yellow liquid, but something that was diverse, interesting, and fantastic. It was a real revelation to me. It was sort of like if you'd only known one kind of music your whole life, and suddenly you discovered that there are 15 other kinds of music, and you'd be like, wow, like, where did this come from? And who's been hiding this from me? I started making my own beer at home. By the third batch, I was already off doing my own thing. And it was only then that I really got into it. I've made hundreds of different beers. The beer arrives in my head fully formed. I see it, I smell it, I taste it. And then the question is, okay, how am I gonna get there? And the thing that makes beer continually fascinating is that it really is a blend of art and science. And the real trick is to have both, to have something to say, but also to know how to say it. So I love the whole brewery, but this is actually my favorite room. I can't deny it. So this is where the serious stuff happens. So come on in. What we're doing in here is we're aging beers in bourbon barrels. People forget that beer has been in wooden barrels for thousands of years. My favorite kind of person is somebody who says that they don't like beer. Say you love jazz music. There came one day where somebody played you your first Coltrane record. It happened. And on that day, a little door opens up and you walk through that door. It's a small moment, but it's a really big deal. If you can show people, hey, look, just go through here, boom, there it is. <laughs>